you horror freaks out there, this is a Strange Monkey coming at you with yet another movie review. We'll be reviewing A Quiet Place today. A Quiet Place is directed by John Krasinski and it stars Krasinski himself and Emily Blunt. The plot follows a family who must live in silence while hiding from creatures that hunt by sound. Imagine living in a world where the key to survival is to stay alive or else you're fucked. You'll draw too much attention to yourself and the creatures will come and destroy you. Just <coughs> To be completely honest, if I were living in a world like this, I'd be one of the first ones to go. You know why? Because I'd spend too much time trying to take this nail out of my finger. I'll start screaming like a little kid and they'll kill me and tear me to pieces. It's just the way things are. I'm so sorry. I really enjoyed the performances by John Krasinski and Emily Blunt. I mean, everybody in this film, even the children, they all have to stick together as a family. And there's not too much dialogue here. There's just, uh, you know, uh, body language and facial expressions. You know, they have to use sign language for the majority of the film because, well, you have to stay quiet or else these things are going to attack you. There's great chemistry in this film. There's great tension in this film. It doesn't really take too long for people to understand why these individuals are nervous and they're scared about a potential threat. Well, not potential. It's ongoing. You don't know when this takes place. It doesn't show you how all of this starts. All you know is that these damn creatures are running around out there trying to hunt people down. I think this is around day 89 or 90. I, I, I can't remember. Um, and I think that's a really smart thing. Don't explain too much. Less is fine. Because then you'll fuck it all up and complicate the story. <laughs> I gotta say, this film did remind me of The Last of Us. How? Fuck. The Last of Us, 10 Cloverfield Lane, Tremors, and... Signs with Mel Gibson. And I say this because... The characters in those specific films and video games are put in a situation where they also need to survive because of something that is after them, or they're trying to avoid, and they need to be very quiet, or else they're gonna die. If you ask me, that's very good storytelling. You know, they can't really get too far in the outside world when it comes to communicating with people without being cautious and being very careful not making too much noise because then you know, that's when all the problems start. Overall, I'm going to say that this is one of the best films I've seen this year and it was just fantastic. You guys got to go out there and see it. I don't want to give too much away. So, this film gets a solid 8 out of 10. Good stuff. Everybody was scared shitless in the theater. Just the way I like it. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you like what you saw. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. I'm the Strange Monkey, and thank you for watching. Have yourselves a good fright. Oh no. Stay quiet, or you're gonna get eaten alive. <laughs>